What's up y'all, welcome to the channel. I'm Coach Mitch. In this video, we're breaking down how to make the perfect highlight. Let's get right into it. As a Division III men's volleyball coach, I get emails almost every day from players sending me highlights, sending me their tape, sending me film, which is all tremendous things. And it's really a great way to get recognized by a coach and to get your name out there. I highly encourage you, if you want to play at the next level, develop some tape, put it together, and go send it to some coaches to get their feedback, to see what your skill set might match up with, with some teams that you send your film out to. So definitely a recommendation I have but you know I notice a lot from the film that I get that some people just don't know how to really put together a highlight and if you really want to catch a coach's attention and get them to respond and get them to follow up with you there's some certain criteria that I think should be in your video to make you stand out and we're gonna break that down right now so there's five there's five basic concepts that you need to have in your video attacking blocking, serve receive, setting, and defense. Now this is gonna depend on the position. If you're a setter, you're gonna to wanna to focus on setting. If you're a libero, you're gonna to wanna to focus on serve receive and defense. If you're an outside, you might wanna focus on a little bit of everything. So really hone in on what your position is. Make sure that's pretty clear in the tape what position you're, you wanna play at the next level. Then really make sure you get your best clips in the very beginning to make that impact in your highlight. So let's start with attacking. The first thing you need to do in a highlight is show that you have some pop, you have some power. Nothing better than this clip here with Esteban where he gets a go ball and rips it down the line off the defender's chest with great pace and great power. Um, if I'm Esteban, this is the first clip I'm putting in my highlight tape just because just it showcases his range, showcases his ability to turn that ball around the blocker, punch it down the line with a lot of power, a lot of physicality. This is what you want to showcase when you're an outside hitter. Physicality, power, how hard can you hit that ball? All right, here's another clip here on a really Tough set, we're out of system, and Devin takes this ball around the block and puts it on the ground. And another aspect of finding a really good attacking swing to put in your highlight is finding a ball that touches the ground. We talk about tooling the block a lot, and although it's great, if I'm a coach, I really wanna see how much power, how much range do you have to hit over and around the block. I really don't wanna see your first couple contacts in your highlight being a ball that you just hit into the block really doesn't show me much. It shows me that you hit kind of body line and straight while we encourage our players to hit high hands. For the sake of a highlight, we need to see kind of your, your ceiling as an attacker. So Devin does a great job of, of getting his feet to this ball, contacting high, hitting right around the block and, and pretty much painting the 10 foot line here on this four to four shot. It's pretty impressive. So another way to show some physicality is maybe a bounce ball and that might be a little tough to do on the outside if you don't get a perfect set. And a good way to show that is by hitting an overpass and seeing what kind of pop you have, you know, on an overpass. Showing that physicality. Esteban takes care of this ball, puts it straight down, and shows the coach watching this video that, hey, when you get an overpass, that player's going to take care of business. Make sure you're putting your best couple clips first. We want to see you hit with the speed, you want to, we want to see a fast tempo set. Make it clear and obvious that you can play volleyball at a high level, you can hit hard, um, you can hit the ground, and you're immediately gonna catch the attention of your coach watching. While we're still on the attacking side of things for a hitter, and this might be a little bit more catered to an outside a hitter, you might want to show some back row attacks. So a Bic, as we get in, in this play here, we get kind of an out of system Bic, 
and Esteban just paints this line here on a really great shot, showcasing his range and ability to get this ball around a triple block and still score is huge. And another one of those plays that just is representative of an impact player like Esteban. And obviously we talk about the bounces. When you get a good bounce, it's not gonna hurt your cause. Showcase that athleticism as well. We've covered attacking, let's get into blocking. Same thing, you wanna get your best blocks up there. And Devin was a player on our team that had a lot of one-on-one -on -one blocks on the outside. So this video is a little more catered to the outside hitter than anyone else. Showcasing your ability to, to take on your guy one-on-one -on -one and, and block that ball kind of straight down is something I would want to include. Not to say that you can't include you know, a soft block or a, a block that lo goes deep in the court, but the ability to, to put that ball straight down and show that you can really penetrate in the net and take away space as an outside hitter is pretty exceptional. And then not only blocking one-on-one, -on -one, but also showcasing how you can help in the middle as an outside. You can see Esteban here helping with the Bic, getting a really good block there. Shows, you know, you're willing to be a committed blocker on both sides. While some systems don't incorporate this in our system, we really like to have our zone six player set the ball or hit it on two if they get the opportunity. If you do include any sort of setting as an outside hitter in your highlight tape, this is a clip that I would probably put in there. Maybe a second ball where you go up and fake swing and set the outside or set the right side. That would be something that I would be looking for. It showcases your, your IQ of the game, your knowledge and understanding of more than just going up and hitting the ball every time you get a chance. In this era of volleyball, with kind of the going away of doubles, going up and showing you have the ability to set and make it make a tougher set is really what we're looking for now that you don't really have to take the ball with your platform as much when you're setting so showcasing that ability is something i would definitely put in a highlight tape all right next one we'll next one we'll get into is serving and really the biggest thing with serving is kind of going with your your best ball like i don't want to see 35 miles per hour, mile per hour float serve i want to see you go up there and rip it whether it's a hybrid or a topspin serve Show, show us your ceiling, show us your best serve. And that can give us an idea of, hey, maybe this isn't my serve every single time, but this is what I can get to as a player. And that shows us as a coach, all right, this guy's gonna be willing to rip it. And, and serving is a huge factor in the game. So maybe, you know, you can get on a team early and start as a serve sub and work your way into a different position. So having that knowledge, knowing that you can serve the ball pretty well is huge. All right, last thing is, is defense and serve receive. Not gonna really dive into this a whole lot. Pretty straightforward. Ability to, to pass tough serves, and that's just as simple as anytime you get a tough serve, making sure you're passing with a good platform, you're moving your feet. I would not stay away from that, but that wouldn't be one of the first couple things I include in my tape. You wanna be a, focus on attacking, you wanna focus on blocking, you wanna add some serving in there some creativity from maybe some setting, and then serve-receive, unless you're a libero or a primary passer, serve-receive is not not something I wanna have like a minute in my highlight tape of. Maybe a couple clips showing you can pass the ball, you have a decent platform, and that, that will do it. But these are sort of the basics, and, and this will get you started. Like I said, it's really about your ceiling of best plays your best attacks, your bounciest balls, your biggest blocks. Put those in the beginning, put those where it counts. Make sure that your camera is set up where it's clear and obvious who you are. A lot of coaches don't like all the flashy stuff where you're like highlighting players and doing all this. And it doesn't have to be super special. You don't need slow-mo, you don't need crazy music. Make it simple, make it to the point, make a coach know that you can hit the ball hard, you can do your job well and they'll give you a consideration and they might continue that conversation with you. So if I were to make a highlight tape for all my players on Marymount, I might make a video on that and publish it in the next couple of weeks just to give you an example of what, what it actually would look like and something I would wanna to send to a coach if I was in your shoes as a player. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, hope this video helped a little bit. So when you're putting together that video, maybe you're a parent and you're putting together this video, not really knowing what to do for your kid, 
focus on the basics. Get their best swings, their best blocks, their best, the best, the best. Put those in the beginning. Doesn't have to be a five minute video, a couple of each that showcase their ability to do a good job. And that will be your best bet to really catch, catch the eye of the coach and get them to follow up. Like I said, hope this video helped. Stay tuned for all the videos to come in the future and we'll see you in the next one.